uh, moving forward, you know, and even forward, forward. Um, and, and with that, you know, you know, uh, uh, meaning, you know, if we, if you're not finally biking forward, you know, uh, Scott Johnson, a finance lawyer and general partner at Van Buren Capital, uh, gave a nuanced analysis of the uh, SEC's motivations for investigating Ethereum and Ethereum Foundation. Uh, his insights offer a deep dive into the uh, potential motivations for the agency to probe the Swiss-based Ethereum Foundation. And uh, Johnson began by highlighting the profound market reliance on Ethereum's classification as a non-security, a stance historically acknowledged by the SEC and other regulatory bodies. He stressed the importance of this classification for the functioning of various market mechanisms. In the SPACE website, Paul gives a good overview um, on the SEC's historical acknowledgments re ETH non-security status. And this is the current landscape that the market has relied on um, uh, in putting the CFTC, CME, ETFs, exchanges, uh, and investors. Reliance interests are incredibly high, Johnson said, is swording the spot Ethereum ETFs the main goal. Uh, Johnson's analysis revolves around the SEC's potential motives for reconsidering Ethereum's status at this particular juncture. Uh, he suggests that the regulatory body is navigating a complex landscape, would need to enforce securities laws with the market's reliance on existing classifications. Uh, beyond simple and crypto animus, it's worth thinking about why the SEC is choosing this moment to potentially reassess ETH's status as non-security and what may be specifically motivating them. Motive meets opportunity, Johnson elaborates. Uh, he further speculates on the SEC's strategy regarding ETH spot exchange traded funds, ETFs, uh, and its broader uh, uh, implications. Uh, my view, and there are other reasonable takes, is that the SEC needs a non-correlation objection to deny ETF spot ETFs this year and has a uh, desire to avoid undermining the ARGs in the CB Binance actions, together representing the two biggest crypto issues the agency is managing. Uh, Johnson said, uh, Johnson points out the inherent challenges in the SEC's path particularly maintaining a consistent approach to crypto regulation so as not to prejudice its own arguments in the cases against Coinbase and Binance. And, and if, if the SEC learned anything from BTC ETFs, uh, it's to be very careful in the reasoning provided in denials, and specifically that it form a coherent whole across the similar orders. Grayscale one because the SEC made logical errors when approving futures and denying spot across time, Johnson said. The finance lawyer also delves into the technicalities of correlation analysis, a pivotal factor in the SEC's decision-making process uh, for ETF approvals. Uh, using the methodology, I believe the SEC will rely, CME futures. Spot correlation is increasing, and the most recent periods are mostly within an acceptable range, i.e. aligning with BTC approval levels. At least based on internally run calcs, Johnson said, therefore the SEC cannot reject a spot ETF on this basis. Uh, Johnson underscores the SEC's delicate balancing act, uh, which cannot question its previous decisions, but at the same time has to deny spot ETF to satisfy its backers. Uh, this kills a few birds bolsters credibility for CB Binance ARGs and iSpot ETF with 2025 optionality and three satisfies Gary's backers. All while avoiding, for now, blowing up CME futures and interagency fight and invalidating futures ETFs. Mirroring SEC in litigation, Johnson said. Uh, earlier this month, uh, Democratic Senators Jack Reed and Nafonza Butmer called on SEC Chairman Gary Gensler to halt the approval of additional spot crypto ETFs. Uh, Senator Elizabeth Warren has also expressed strong criticism of these financial products. Last year, Butler endorsed Senator Elizabeth Warren's contentious digital asset anti-money laundering act by co-sponsoring the bill. 
uh, at press time, ETH traded at $3,526. With that said, thanks for watching, and until next time.